Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pro Tips video, always about animation. This time I want to talk about a nice plugin that I found a couple of years ago. It's called GF Draw Animation. GF uh, stands for uh, Guillaume Ferracha, I guess a French guy, which wrote this uh, very nice plugin, which allows us to draw on, uh, on a viewport Basically, it stores all the motion we do uh, with the mouse, with the pen, in terms of uh, position of the an object and uh, and the timing, of course. And this is nice and very helpful in the planning stage of a shot, to to planning uh, both action shot or also acting like a head turn, eye darts. I use a lot in uh, in real production, and um, let's see with simple example first how it works, and uh, maybe some some uh, real production shot. So let's see how it works. We need to install to call it. Right now is version two point one GF Draw Animation. So you have a uh, lots of option. You can uh, use just a translation, just a rotation and both together. You can also filter just the channel you choose in a, in a channel box. So just create a simple object we want to use. And uh, when I click translate, you see the handle disappear. It means that I can start, start tracking and it start recording all the motion I do with with my mouse. And when I stop, it stops. So in a second, you have uh, exactly what you did in the timeline. You can easily undo or delete it. And you can use just for the translate, for the rotation. Maybe you need to figure out the uh, turn I use a lot in uh, in Aladdin, maybe with the motion of the head of uh, Abu, super frantic, always scanning around. And there was this quick motion and then sudden stop. Or maybe a turn, there, or maybe I dart, stuff like that. It's super easy, quick to, to have an idea. I repeat, we don't need something super specific, just an idea of the what can be the the animation, the feeling. And um, yeah, for that, I, I just did a two quick example, like this one sword, which this simple object, just the timing of this. It's nice, it's super easy, super quick, like the anticipation, then one, and then one, two, three. We don't need to, to care about to worry about the, the gimbal log, stuff like that. We don't need this kind of detail, it's just an idea, I repeat, to figure out a nice timing. For instance, also this one, like a man jumping, a character, creature, whatever. Going to the edge. Go back as an anticipation. And then run and jump. In, in second, you can figure out uh, the layout, the choreography of this uh, um, shot, shot to your lead, uh, supervisor, and uh, and see if this is the right idea. So it's super super easy, and uh, I use it really in production. This one I remember I did a lot in uh, in Aladdin with uh, Abu the Eternals that I was saying before. In, I found just a shot, which uh, the carpet is trapped underneath this uh, rock. And uh, the first two are pushed to try to get free and then point the problem to Aladdin, which also looking at him. And with this plugin, one, two, one, two, I figure out in a matter of minutes, the, the idea, I repeat it, just the idea. You see, it's not animation, just the idea of the timing. 
which is the first thing to figure out in, in every shot. Also in this one, uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi, there was this shot, uh, BB-8 running in front of Poe. And it was pretty tricky because it just a sphere BB-8. Uh, you need to sell the effort to let him do his Santi while running. And uh, I figure out the, the choreography, the path to follow with this plugin. And then you see this kind of uh, left and right, like shoulder, shoulder, to, to sell some kind of effort while running. And uh, I did everything with this plugin, the, the initial stage, the idea. And then was just a matter to, to do the shot, just a matter. But the, the main part, the idea, was was there. So let me know if you like it. I, I, I found it really helpful. I put a link in the comment in the description of this video and um, hope you like it. See you next time.